Hey there, Fluency family. Tim here with Wear the Rope, and I'm with my good friend Josh from Strength Side. And we're at his headquarters right now, and we thought it'd be a good idea to teach him something. What are we going to teach him? We're going to teach you the iconic dragon roll. This is the one that everyone wants to learn when they get into the rope. All right, so hopefully you've got a rope. You could learn with a skipping rope. Rope flow rope will give you a bit more feedback because of the weight of it. But you could absolutely learn it just with a jump rope rope. Okay, so starting with the rope in front of your right foot, ribs pointed to the right. And you're just gonna keep the elbows glued to your, to your core. Turn the ribs to the left. And so now they're pointing 45 degrees. You should have gone through a 90 degree turn, a quarter of a full turn from right to left. And then you're gonna flick the rope so that it's now behind your right leg. And then we're gonna turn the ribs back to that right side and flick it forwards back where we started. So that's four steps. And I want you to really, we're gonna go through that again, and I want you to really honor and break down each of those four steps as we go. So from right, we're gonna go drag the rope to the left. That's one step. Flick it over to the right leg, two steps. Turn the ribs and the arms and everything comes back to the right. That's three steps, flick it forward. Four step. What okay. you guys will see in the dragon roll is really pay attention to the rib cage moving from 45 degree angle to 45 degree angle. It's really the rib cage and the legs that lead this movement, and it's it's actually less of the arms. So you'll start to pick that up as you go. Yeah, absolutely. In the beginning, you might be used to jump rope and your arms and want to go up and down like this. But what you'll learn is to become more fluid with it. We want the arms to kind of stay low, and the vertical drive from the rope comes from this horizontal rotation, kind of like you're hitting a golf ball or a, a tennis shot, something like that. That horizontal rotation is going to drive the rope to swing up and over and same from the back to front. So let's start to build on the speed a little bit. Drag it to the left, flick it back, turn to the right, flick it forwards. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and smooth the edges of the back when it comes behind us. We're going to drag it, flick it, and just before it hits the floor, I'm going to turn my ribs back and that should drive it back in front of me. So we'll go again, drag it, flick it, and then turn. And you want, as you, as you practice this, you become more sensitive to the timing of the rope. In the beginning, it might be hitting your leg. It might be going all over the place. But over time, I promise you, it will smooth out. We'll go again, turn, boom. And then what we want to do is, as the rope's coming in front of us, go straight into another revolution. So we turn again. So it comes in front, I'm turning again. Behind, boom, boom. Boom. Anything to any advice, Josh? So if you're trying to do this, you just keep hitting your feet. You keep just not getting the rope around. Start at the beginning. Go back to turn, flick, turn, Three, flick. Four. I promise you that if you keep doing that and just it really ingrain that in your body, you'll start to just it, your body will just make sense of it that you can speed it up and start getting this. But if you can't, then you just go turn, flick. Back to those four steps. And it's as those four steps start to, we start to smooth the edges of each step, that's when the pattern starts to come together. But if you rush any part of that or try to skip any part or try to blend two parts together, it doesn't work then. So as just said, just keep coming back to those four steps. Promise you'll be able to get it. Now, one of the beautiful things about the rope is that we can do it both ways. So we've been dragging it to our left and then coming this way, yep. but we can also go the other way. And for most of us, we're gonna find that we probably have a strong side that we'd rather do. But for me, I find the most benefit in doing the more challenging side. Mm. So all you do for that is just repeat the exact same steps, but just reverse everything. So start with it on your left, drag it to your right, flick it over. And then from there, the way, if you want to integrate drag and roll, I'll just touch on this real briefly, but if you want to integrate drag and roll into your flow, maybe you came from the video me and Josh made together where you've learned the underhand and the overhand, these two basic patterns. The drag and roll sits 90 degrees in the middle, so it sits here in between the two. It will sit here, the drag and roll comes in. So we, if we wanna go to overhand or underhand from here, we're swinging on this plane like a propeller at a belly button, and then we turn to face one side or the other. Just an important note on transitioning in and out of drag and roll if you wanted to try that. So we wanted to hop into just showing you guys how to do the drag and roll immediately. But one thing that we could chat about is the benefits of drag and roll. Like I said in the strength side video, rope flow is not just a party trick. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are we gaining from the drag and roll? The drag and roll is a really unique movement because we're trained to move from the core in a horizontal rotation movement, which is not done very often in much gym work. You might, you know, use the 
pulley machine or something like that, but it's very stiff and one-sided. With the drag and roll, it's a very organic back and forth and ebb and flow from side to side, kind of separating the ribs from the hips as we move. And you'll notice that this will really wake up and engage some core muscles that you might not even have felt before yep. or for a very long time. So it trains us in this horizontal motion. And what that, how that applies to other things is we can use horizontal rotation to turn that into vertical displacement. So something like on a basketball, you see a basketballer come in, they'll rotate in and then they'll, they'll jump up. They'll use that horizontal force to turn it into vertical motion. Or maybe you play golf or you're an MMA fighter or tennis or baseball and you want to train hundreds of repetitions in a short space of time how we can rotate from the ground up through the spine. Absolutely, and for someone that has, maybe like myself, spent a lot of years lifting and kind of stiffening your spine, wow, we're waking up some of this movement here. We get this yeah. nice rotation, and man, you'll feel your glutes, you'll feel your feet, everything in your body kind of lights up to be more connected, I think. Yeah, it's a really, you find it's a really natural human movement, and it allows us to shift weight from foot to foot efficiently and with balance and coordination. So a really beautiful pattern. Recommend to anyone, if you've got a spine, it's worth learning how to drag and roll. Hey, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it from us. Uh, please go and check out the video me and Josh made together on his channel. If you want to learn more rope flow, I've got an eight weeks to fluidity course. Good place to start rope flow. Great place to start. You want to check out, we got ropes as well, wearetherope.com. But otherwise, just stay tuned to the channel. There's plenty more rope flow content on this channel. See you in the next video.